So while the girlies are getting their fall and winter wardrobes prepared, I am a year round girly. I'm a California born and raised girl. So we don't have like fall, winter, spring wardrobes. We just go with the flow of what the weather is because it's typically warm here and it never rains. Although weather has been changing and I blame the ozone layer for that. Typically, this is a wig that would be for whatever season works for you. I feel like all year round you can pull a look like this off. So today I've teamed up with Love Me Hair. They sent over this beautiful closure glueless wig. And yes, I did install her 100% glueless for you guys today. I added a little bit of baby hair just to kind of fan out and give a little bit of finesse. But I'm going to show you how I installed her. Super simple and easy. We did a little bit of a light diffuser situation. And I'm just touching her because I'm so in love. But I did a little bit of a diffuser situation and I'm so happy of how she came out. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Be sure to check her out. I do have her linked in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the install. For starters, let me show you guys what the inside construction of the cap is. As you guys go see, we're going with a C part. It has that curved parting here. So that's the parting space that you get for parting and then the hairline area. You do get a little bit of parting space so you can still like stamp out baby hair and whatnot. You do also get an elastic band for a little bit more support. And then of course we are going to cinch these um these bad boys right here in as well. It's a beautiful curly texture. Highly recommend you wash and condition yours so that you can give it the best look. But you guys know I'm gonna finesse. I'm gonna make it look really, really, really good and I don't have to um, necessarily um, wash it to make it look good. But again, it's always gonna look a step up and even better when you do. It's a little bit of dimension to the shape as far as the cut goes. And again, you have a C part. Now, because you are limited on your um, parting space, if you want to switch it and make it more deep or make it up, the thing to do is to shift it. For now, I'm gonna keep it as is, as like the perfect center. Also wanna make sure that you pull your wig cap back because you guys can see the, the lace is nice enough that you will be able to see the cap through even though it is brown. So I'm just gonna pull mine back. Now we are ready to go. I'm going to just go ahead and cut off the excess lace because this one is a very simple, easy, super extremely easy, like ready to go type of wig. Really the biggest thing you need to do is cut off the excess lace. And then from there, she's essentially installed. Now, obviously, you can also turn her up a notch by adding a little bit of baby hair. Look how beautifully she lays on the hairline. She literally melts. Look how beautiful that looks. Now you may not want that much. So we can send some back. And I think that's the perfect amount right there. And I do want a little bit to go on this side. And you guys can see they even cut a little bit of hair right here and trained it to go that way. So even if you don't have baby hair, you guys can see how that's going to naturally lay and give a natural effect. And you could kind of train it to kind of like soup a little bit. Um, so I'm going to trim this down just not just a little, I'm gonna trim it down a lot actually. And then I'm gonna do a mooch trick because this one fits glueless, I don't feel the need to bond her down. Sometimes when a wig fits glueless, I still wanna bond it down just to really give the vibes. And also sometimes I kinda of scrunch my forehead like this. And as I'm doing it, because it's not bonded down the wig, ever so slightly shift it back. And this is going to help me to make sure that I didn't push it too far forward. Because sometimes, even when I don't mean to, I will push it a little bit too far forward, especially with my big forehead. And now that we have that product there, forgive it if it's turning a little bit of color, because I did have a little bit of foundation on my face. So I'm just going to like squiggle up the hairline and the little pieces of hair that I had there. Trying to send back anything that was too long. Lace wear. You can't even see like this is the lace right here and you can't even tell. You can even take just a dab of edge control. Next, you guys can see there is no rhyme or reason for any baby hair. Once that melts, that's going to look beautiful. And from there, we can like move it around. But right now, we just kind of want to mold it. 
Now, as that molds organically, I am going to do the dynamic duo along the parting space. And it's just going to be, because this hair is curly, you can definitely be a lot more generous because you don't have to worry about it being like too oily. And I like to just work that in really good. And you see how already it just neatened out the parting space so much. And I'm just going to take a little bit of heat. I like to do it as close to the parting as possible. And then I'm going to take the back of it because I don't necessarily want to um, manipulate the texture. I still want it to have a little bit of curl and wave to it. And this is just going to help it to look a little bit more smooth and neat. Next, we can go in and just style the hair. The best moisturizer for your hair always is a little H2O. So let's go ahead and just wet it down and see what kind of product would be best with this one. It already is coming together. Juicy curls always win. Let's go ahead and work that H2O in and see what happens to the curls. And as you guys can see, it's already looking amazing. I'm gonna see if I have a little bit more of this. I am literally running out of every single product I own. I got four pumps out of this and this is the one from Bedhead. And I'm just going to try to scrunch it in. This reminds me of great high school and college so much. This was my favorite. And I'm just going in, and the ends were the most dry before I started styling it. So I want to remember that and make sure that the ends have something to drink up even once the water dries down. Of course, you want it to be evenly distributed, but if there is a favorite, your ends should always be the favorite just because, again, they are tending to be the driest area because it's the oldest part of your hair. Now already you guys can see how beautiful the curls are. I was able to get one more pump out of it. A pump and a half. Oh, the pump disappeared. It's like when you have a baby and the head comes out when you push and then you stop pushing, it goes back up. It's not too wet, so I kind of don't want to diffuse it, but then the diffuser kind of would give me more natural girl vibes opposed to chihuahua vibes so let's just see what happens okay we're gonna give it a little shake out now let's see what we're working with i did not diffuse it completely but i kind of did let it go in the face a little bit Okay, so this we don't like. You can go back in and customize it or just soften it up if that's the issue. I don't wanna tweeze anything out because again, I wanna keep it as simple as possible with this look. As you guys can see, the baby hairs that were there flattened out. So from here, you can decide if you want them. You can send some back if it's too dense. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and, I was gonna say melt the lace, but it's actually called tint the lace. We're gonna use our Old Faithfuls. Lately I've been using the darkest shade, or I think this is the second darkest shade. This is 16. Never start your product in the very front, even though I have a bad habit of doing so. Now you guys can see how beautifully that looks. It's the darkest shade here, but it comes out the perfect, perfect color here. Next, I'm going to take the opposite side of my double-sided brush, buff in the corresponding foundation powder. That was a 15, and this is a 15. And I'm just going to go in and just generously buff that in. This hairline already looks melted. And if I did not show you guys, it's not bonded down, which you guys already knew that. But in case, you know, there's any smoke and mirrors, I want you guys to know I'm not finessing you guys. Now here, this is a little bit full. Again, I did not want to thin it out. So I'm just going to finesse for now. 
and I'm gonna take the left of a product from here and just kind of like push it in and like do hair like strokes like you would for brows except it's a reverse because it's lightening up the hairs so it's going to give the illusion that the hair is a little bit more thinned out and less harsh and that is pretty much it kind of find your your zhuzh your spot with how you want it to set I kind of like it in my face but because I have some very voluminous lashes on all it's going to do is make my eyes water so that's pretty much it this is the packaging from love me hair as always i do have another review coming from them soon so stay tuned for that if this is not your zhuzh i do have two options but this one here they do have the tissue paper that has their logo and a cute little saying on it and then below that we do have a milk belt and it does say love me in the purple everything with them is purple which purple exudes royalty with the silver um metallic this also says love me it's a rat tail comb and then of course they have the baby hair brush which also says love me on the sides and i love that because you know you put this in your travel kit and everything matches I'm all here for everything like matching and coordinating and then you have a travel dust bag for your wig and it also has the logo and everything matching. This is a great backup wig if I'm going traveling out of town and I need something in my luggage just in case the wig that I'm wearing somehow fails me. I love to have you know something in a suitcase something on the carry on just in case. They also gave me a pack of HD wig caps and how fitting it's purple and it has the private label love me um, on it as well. They did bless me with an extra of the um, milk belt which was super nice. And yeah this was absolutely beautiful. You know, do you like it behind my ear or in front? How do I feel about that? I like a little bit of impromptu hair. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm going to have her linked in the description box. Also, subscribe and stay tuned because I will be having another hair tutorial featuring Love Me coming up very, very, very soon. Sooner than you think. And it will definitely be an up another option in case you want to buy two wigs or if the short is just not what you're in the market for right now. Also, I've worked with this company before, so you can definitely search Love Me Hair on my YouTube channel main page. And you'll find any other tutorial I have with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe this video share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches